Room for growth. We're not so blind to believe that we have it all together or that the way we do things is the only way to do things. The same way isn't always the right way. We're always looking for new ways to grow and to support creative thinking. I remember a meeting I had years ago with somebody I have always esteemed in the faith. His name is J.I. Packer. I had a breakfast with him in Amsterdam. I had him sign my Bible. And um, he signed 2 Peter 3.18. He wrote his name, but 2 Peter 3.18. And of course, that's the text that says, grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love that. Um, we're growing. And all of us are in process. And when I look at people, when I talk to people, I realize uh, we're all on a journey and they're, they're in process. And because of that, um, at least for myself, I, I want to know the best way to please God. Um, in doing that, I learn from other ministries. I learn from other ministers. I learn from congregants in our own church. Sometimes people have asked me, well, who's your pastor? Who pastors you? And my answer is, I have a team of men, godly men, uh, on my pastoral staff, and I hear God's voice through them. When we're together, when we kick around an idea, uh, when I hear them tell me about what God is showing them in the Word, that collaborative effort, is how I often hear the Word of God and the voice of God. And I have been kept from doing things. I've been motivated to do things by hearing the Lord's voice through them. Not just through them. Uh, I mentioned congregants. Um, we did a church service not long ago that was the brainchild of a woman who came to first service and had the idea of calling the church to a week of prayer and fasting before an election was taking place. And I thought, that's from the Lord. We need to do that. And it was her idea that inspired me. So um, uh, I think we all need to be open and, and we can grow. God can speak through um, uh, uh, anyone, anything. He spoke through a donkey in the Old Testament. I certainly don't want you to think I'm placing other people on that level. My point is, sometimes I can be a little dull of hearing and God can use all sorts of creative ways uh, to get his voice heard. We just have to be open.